Well, folks, once again, welcome back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Captain Boat Builder. Today, it's episode 14, and I'm calling this one Party on the Boat. You know, there's an old saying. The saying is, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And so I just wanted to show you a little bit of what we're using the boat for that's not working, sanding, painting, varnishing, all that stuff that we've been doing, but something that we actually enjoyed. The other night, we had some friends over. My wife prepared a lovely dinner, and these are friends that we have known for at least, every one of them, we've known them for at least 40 years. A couple uh, in the group are friends of mine from middle school. I've known them over 60 years, and everybody in the group is into their 70s. We're always having a, a good time together and we found a new use for the Viola 14 in the basement still under construction. So besides just working on the boat all the time, I found a way to use the boat, a different way to use the boat that was really quite enjoyable. So here's a, a brief glimpse of our party the other night and uh, later in the video, I will be going back to the construction. Uh, this time, again, only four pieces of wood are being installed. And uh, we hope that you uh, enjoy the episode. Again, party on the boat. Okay, folks, here we are in my basement boat yard. And we're going to start tonight's party interview with my lovely bride. Would you stop that? My lovely bride whose maritime name is? Spinnaker. Q, the lovely bride. Mm -hmm. I said, Spinnaker. My no, maritime name is Spinnaker. What do you like about boats? My favorite thing about boats, I love to be on a sailboat when there's plenty of wind to sail along. Not too much where you're heeled over, ready to fall off the boat, but I really enjoy it when there's lots of wind. Great. Now we're shifting to? The name is Good Nuff. Mm -hmm. Sort of like good enough, but nuff. And that's because growing up in South Florida, we've been on a wide variety of boats. And there's little boats and big boats. And what we found is any boat is just great. All it's, right. Yep. Moving on. Um, my, my name is Loafer. <laughs> and um, I really love just to be in the water, so the boat allows me to go in the water, whether it's snorkeling, swimming, diving, whatever. I just want to be in the water. And hey, Flounder here. <laughs> and remember, don't ever buy a boat. Everybody here has a boat except us, so we don't need one. Hey, uh, I'm Tinkerbell, and. Uh, <laughs> Tinkerbell likes to hang out with Captain Hook. So uh, anyway, I'm flounder. Oh, you're flounder. Oh, excuse me, but I thought I thought I call you Captain Hook. Ooh. Oh, there's a story there. But um, yes. I like I Was like it Bill boats Clinton, because Captain Hook. <laughs> can we say that? <laughs> yeah, we can I say that. We're really being impolite. Wait, we can talk over. We can. We can. Right. Yeah. We can. Well, okay. Uh, I'm Tinkerbell again. <laughs> And I like boats because they are on water, and I love to swim. And so if I go overboard, there's no problem. I love swimming. But Candy, you said that you liked Captain Hook. There's the captain over there. You sure you're not getting confused with that? <laughs> oh, you know, I might be getting confused. The wrong but that's captain. Right, the wrong Ooh. captain. Yeah, Lots of captain. captains here. Yeah, we're all captains, man. All captains. All right. We're uh, actual captains. My name of the boat, uh, my boat is made by Shannon, and I like it because I'm a day sailor. More. Come on, we have to have more. Well, you can night sail, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be dear. Wow. I think, yeah, I'll that's how children are made. That. Yeah, you will, really. Yeah. Shannon, Shannon is done, but uh, I am Bilge. I've been nicknamed Bilge because that's normally where they uh, find me lying flat on the bottom of the boat after consuming a little bit too much fuel. So, oh. my favorite part of boating, if I can't do a sailboat, is pontoon boat. Ooh. Our pontoon boat is a pontoon boat, but it's really a drinking barge. 
We enjoy the part right. two drinking. Right. Right. Okay. You're on, sweetie. I'm why. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm Wahini. My husband named me that. Wahini. Wahini. He grew up in Hawaii so and he's mentally away. still there. <laughs> and we have a boat at Lake Hartwell and I don't like black water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it if you go out in the night and it's all black, but I like it in the day and I think it lowers your blood pressure. It's the same water. <laughs> I don't care. Water. I don't like the black. And boating is a good thing. Columbus liked it. <laughs> and Magellan. And Magellan. Yeah. yeah. And a few other guys. Uh, uh, I'm Howley. Next to you, Kathleen. That's a good one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Very good. Howie. Here's the water. <laughs> I'm Howley. Oh, wait a minute. Here. Uh, there you go. Um, uh, we have a, uh, a nice uh, Bennington uh, tri tune, and we'll be uh, uh, Working it out here in the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. Bragging going with, on here. Yeah, with a with a few of our friends. Oh, what? All these guys. Oh yeah, we're all going <laughs> up to the, to the boat. And uh, I like calm water. Yeah, and, me too. Not going too fast, but just fast enough where everybody has fun. Well, thank you so much. This is the group of the usual suspects. As I said before, we've been together way too long. And for those of you who may be building the Viola 14 or a similar boat, you'll notice it makes a great bar. So thanks again for watching. So long. Cheers. Well, you can see clearly from the little party video that all of us, the husbands and the wives, we all seem to find a way to enjoy the water some way. Sailboats, power boats, pontoon boats, all kinds of boats. We just like being on the water. Again, it was a great party. And we did find a new use for the deck of the Viola 14. So returning to some of the construction details, again, uh, in this little segment, we're only installing four pieces of wood. The two finger grips and the bow knee and the stern knee. And we'll catch up with the construction uh, as I'm using the router to take the edge, to take the excess off the deck so that I can install the uh, finger grips. And then later I'll be uh, giving you a shot of the bow knee and the stern knee. They're just glued in place. It did take quite a while, a lot of cutting and sanding to get them to fit as perfectly as I could into the bow and the stern. So again, we'll resume the project uh, as I prepare the edges for the installation of the finger grips. As I'd mentioned before, I plan to use a router to uh, take care of this edge. This is the uh, inboard edge of the flotation tank. You can see right here, as I pointed out before, how the deck, there's a little excess material. I think you could probably take it off with a plane or a grinder or sandpaper, but I think the router at least for me, seems to be the easiest way to do it. For those of you who've done a lot of woodworking, uh, this is not new, but this is an example of the nice, almost 90 degree, almost perfect 90 degree edge I've been able to get. And the particular router bit that I'm using looks like this. It has the roller that runs along the edge of the tank, and you can see the two cutter blades. And you can see that uh, well, I can't really get the phone down there, but you can see how it just lays in there. And uh, you just run this thing along the edge of the tank. And as I showed you, you get a really nice uh, sharp edge. The other thing that I'm working on, because this throws an awful lot of chips and dust, is I'm working on this goofy setup here where I have a... I've got a towel that's... Uh, sitting over some plastic sawhorses and I'm hoping to move this along with the router to catch most of the chips that fly. You can see uh, when I started practicing, they went all over the place in the boat. They also went all, all over the place in my basement. So I'm hoping that this uh, towel is a good way to catch the chips from the router. For those of you with a lot of woodworking experience, this isn't gonna come as any great revelation, but it was a very pleasant surprise to me this particular router bit that I showed you earlier that I was using to take care of the edge, 
as you maneuver it in here, you can see it makes a perfect quarter round turn and it runs right up against the, the wood, uh, the vertical wood pieces here. So you can get a really, really nice corner just by using this router bit. And again, this was news to me. I just thought I'd pass it on in case you haven't experienced this. Also, I did want to show you that my little device for catching all of the shavings that came off the router uh, worked pr pretty well. You can see I haven't even finished one side and you can see uh, how many shavings there are. And what this towel does is everything just kind of sticks to it. And so it doesn't fly around the room, doesn't make a huge mess. And the excess just drops down into the boat. So uh, this goofy system uh, with the towel uh, seemed to be a great way to catch all the shavings. Well, I don't want to beat a dead horse or pat myself on the back too much, but again, if you look at this towel, you look at all the chips and shavings from the router, and if you look at everything that's in the boat, in the hull of the boat itself, and this is on both sides. Again, uh, all the stuff that the towel caught on the other side, looking down here inside the boat. Like I say, I don't want to pat myself on the back too much, but this was a good way to catch the chips and the shavings. And without it, this would be scattered all over my basement boat yard. And if you look at the floor, there's hardly anything. So this goofy idea really did work. I'm finishing up for today. I've got the finger grip installed on the port side. And uh, the only reason I didn't install both of them is I've only got eight big clamps. And they needed these big clamps to go from the gunnel uh, across the deck to the finger grip and uh, hold it in place that way. So it's being held on with epoxy and uh, wood flour mix. Uh, went in nice and smooth. I didn't have any problems. And then uh, I'll be using a router to take care of the top edge. I think I'm going to leave the bottom edge fairly sharp because that's what you're going to be grabbing onto. And you need something to hold onto. But the finger grips, uh, it's not a big project. Just takes a little time. And it's uh, pretty much complete on one side. As a close out today, I wanted to show you that the... Uh, Finger grips are on now on both sides. Got a couple of coats of epoxy on there. There'll be more epoxy, more sanding than varnish. Did want to show you here, it's just a tiny little detail. Not especially new for woodworkers, but it's new to me. I was able to get the uh, finger grip to blend right into the corner in the deck there and also taper into the quarter round edge that I put on it. Nice little detail pleased with that. Also uh, finished the installation of the bow knee. There's the bow knee. Um, got a nice little detail here with a quarter round mold on the top and the bottom. Easy on your hand. This is the first coat of epoxy. There'll be many more. A lot of sanding but uh, nice piece of wood. Good grain. And here in the back I've also got the stern knee installed. Same thing, same quarter round, easy on your hand. And uh, looks like I'm gonna get some uh, nice color and variation in the wood grain. So folks, uh, we'll finish up this episode. And again, uh, quite a bit of time was involved. This time, four pieces of wood. We've got the two finger grips and we've got the stern knee and the bounty. Little details that take a lot of time, a lot of fitting and sanding, but we get a really nice result. And uh, slowly but surely, the boat's starting to take shape. Sometimes when you look at all the tasks that have to be performed and how much time each one takes, you may start to wonder about this project. And I'm just reminded of the uh, little line where they used to say, you know, the, the way to eat an elephant is just one bite at a time. And that's kind of the way the boat is. It's just one little project after another. And pretty soon the boat's starting to really look great. So thanks again for watching. And we'll be back soon. So long.